Hi, I'm Jun Hyop Lee, a PhD student from KAIST Korea. I'll be presenting Robot Telekinesis, which is an application of a unimanual and bimanual object manipulation technique to robot control. Using our technique, anyone can quickly and easily control robots in real time or teach a new move to the robot in complex and changing work environments. Let's get started. Industrial robots used in factories are a critical component of modern manufacturing. However, they are extremely large and dangerous, so they are strictly fenced off and workers cannot go near them when they are operational. Collaborative robots, on the other hand, are a new breed of robots that are smaller and safer. They can detect and stop when a collision occurs, so they can be set up right next to workers and collaborate with them side by side. However, controlling and teaching a collaborative robot can be challenging. The most common way is to use a button-based teaching pendant which typically comes with at least 24 buttons for movement. Choosing and pressing the right buttons can be tricky, especially for non-experts. Also, attention can be split between the robot and the handheld teaching pendant. Another common way is to use direct teaching. With direct teaching, the robot can be physically grabbed and moved by force. Direct teaching can be simpler and faster than button-based controllers. However, direct teaching can still be challenging when the robot is a little too far away or when there are obstacles between the robot and the user, or when the movement requires rotation of multiple joints. Within the robotics community, the state-of-the-art motion capturing and mapping techniques have allowed the user to step inside the body of the robot and control it as if it is a part of one's own body. However, for collaborative robots, this is not always possible or desirable, and the user may need to control the robot from the outside of the robot's body as a bystander. On the other hand, Within the human-computer interaction, or the HCI community, interaction techniques that closely resemble handling a physical object have enabled intuitive and effective real-time manipulation of virtual objects, such as 3D CAD models. We present Robot Telekinesis, which takes inspiration from those well-studied unimanual and bimanual virtual object manipulation techniques from the HCI community, and applies it to the control of a physical robot. Our new interaction technique lets the user intuitively control and teach collaborative robots using two hand gestures that resemble handling a physical object. Our technique uses 6 degrees of freedom real-time movements of two hands, captured with any cheap off-the-shelf devices such as VR controllers. When the user activates the controller in the right hand, a pair of virtual planes are created at the right hand and at the end effector of the robot. The user can control the real-time position and orientation of the end effector, as if inserting a physical plane into the end effector and moving and rotating that plane. The user can also control the robot's movement with the left hand and with both hands. Just by activating and deactivating the controller, the user can utilize clutching with one hand, between hands, and with two hands to make larger movements through repetition or to make movements with more comfortable gestures. We invited six robot experts and six non-experts. They sequentially collected 10 magnetic tiles placed at different positions and orientations in an arrangement that resembled a complex work environment with obstacles that blocked the view, the robot path, and the walking path. We found that teaching pendant is confusing to use and about four times slower. Direct teaching is fast and intuitive, but it can be physically demanding. Our technique is as fast and intuitive as physically handling the robot, without the physical work required in doing so. Also, anyone could learn it in just 10 minutes. Moreover, for in-depth analysis of the usage pattern, we also recorded time-stamped positions and orientations of the end effector, along with the activation status of the left and right controllers. The dark gray bars indicate that the robot is moving. The thin blue bars indicate that the left hand is used. The thin red bars indicate that the right hand is used. The numbered circles indicate that the target is picked up. First, many participants primarily used the dominant hand rather than the non-dominant hand 
to make large strides of movements and quickly go from one target to the next. Here, for this participant who was right-handed, it is shown as many red bars and relatively fewer blue bars. Second, many participants also used both hands to make fine adjustments, especially when carefully aligning the end effector to the target, shortly before picking it up. Here, it is shown as concurrent blue and red bars, just before the numbered circles. Finally, all participants repeated hand motions to make larger movements within the comfortable ranges of motion of their hands, wrists, and arms, shown as many colored bar segments. One participant even alternatingly clutched between the left and right hands, shown as non-overlapping consecutive segments of red and blue bars. We look forward to an exciting future where people and robots work together, not only in manufacturing, but in new areas such as pharmaceutical industry, filmmaking and content creation industries, and even local cafes and restaurants. We believe our technique will enable even non-experts to effortlessly control and teach new moves and help bring collaborative robots closer to us. For more detail, please read our paper. And for any questions, please contact me by email. Thank you for watching.